Dashed up the skies, tell us why you had to hide away for so long. Good thoughts. Six, one. If you have a key, seek the lock. If you have the lock, seek the key. Know what you are looking for. Six, two. Appreciate opportunities to grow, chances to learn, become more experienced, gain wisdom. Life is expansive and ever expanding. You are life. Continuously expand yourself. Push your own limits. Seek new horizons. Explore new possibilities. Perform when called upon. Speak when spoken to. Break down barriers. Shatter paradigms. And at all times, listen to the words, lessons, advice of those around you. Also listen to the lessons taught by the way of life. The divine order of things. All is as it is meant to be. Understand, wisdom, knowledge, follow. Six, three. Don't let decisions be detrimental, tending to cause harm. It may take negative repercussions from your own decisions for you to see that inside you is the power to foresee. Don't react. Pause. If the outcome of your decision may tend to cause harm, don't make it. Don't be blinded by emotions. Pause. Foresee. Decide. Done. Six. Four. You must find or seek something, anything, no matter how seemingly insignificant or significant, to pursue, practice, preach, perform. The seek itself may be the lifelong journey, or you may have known since birth. Follow the unfolding. You believe what you see. Otherwise, you wouldn't see it. Accept now. Change from here.
six, five. Enjoy and appreciate. Allow the necessary time and space. Do so adequately. Cherish the meaning you give to that which you love, care, and feel. Soul blueprints designed by, hidden by, found by ourselves. The physically manifested world around you matters. Knock, knock. To you, co-created, agreed, experienced, transcended. Cherish your transcendence. Six, six. Develop yourself. Create your character. Prepare your presentation. The reflection in the mirror is your greatest asset, your gold mine. What do you see? What do you want to see? Do what is needed to become. Six, seven. Emotional reactions must be resisted like temptation. When they begin to bubble, fighting their way to the surface, breathe. Circulate energy, rebalance. Much learning can occur, and an opportunity for healing. There may be wounds inside of you, of unconscious origin, locked and sealed in the depths of the subconscious mind. Now they've been triggered, unlocked. Who or what was the key? What is your treasure that has been hidden within? Six, eight. Life may not always feel right. You may not always feel right. That's all right. Life can be a roller coaster. Yet, humans tend to raise their awareness in times of hardship to levels not normally operated at. Take your focus off your pain. Become present of your vastness. In all moments, use your heightened awareness. Shift it from sickness to healing, from the old to the new. These feelings are gifts of energy. Utilize them, transmute them. Opportunities will appear, some subtle, some a slap in the face. The future of those may be unclear, so too may be the present. One thing can be certain, you will only find what's all in store, after acceptance. Seven, zero. Live where you can. Allow yourself to live healthy, 
to enjoy peace of mind, to hear silence, to share in good company, to be you freely, not fearfully. Sickness is not worth your energy, worry not worth your thought. Surround yourself from the inside out with good energy, good vibes, good people. Live in and create a positive environment. Thank you.